Hi everyone. So first I'm working on my pie today. Um, and I will I just put the chocolate cake in the oven and then I'll be working on that uh, when that's all done and I can fill it and decorate it. So if you follow me, you know I hold two kinds of every flavor of the Musselman's uh, pie filling. So for Easter, I decided that I'm gonna use the blackberry. And again, if you're just watching this out of nowhere and you're wondering why I'm late on Easter, I am Greek Orthodox. So my Easter is this Sunday, April 28th. So what I did first is, here are the, the boxes. I got three of these six ounce containers of blackberries from Aldi. So those were $1.99 each from Aldi. And then I'm just going to add both of these cans in here. Um, and I will cook it down just slightly, but not too much. So I will be right back with that. All right, so actually this looks pretty amazing and I don't even think I needed to add any fresh blackberries. This looks way better than I actually thought it would. But I am just going to go ahead and add both of these cans. Wow, that's really nice. Wow. I am impressed. I am impressed. All right, so I'm just going to turn that. I just want everything to um, incorporate a little bit, get those fresh blackberries soaked into the, you know, gel a little bit. So I'm just going to put this on medium and just let it get nice and hot. And that's it. I do not want to cook it down too much because I don't want to mess up the whatever gelatin is in the, the, the liquid of the fruit so that it, it can set nicely in the pie. So I'm just going to turn this on medium, let it all get hot and incorporated and I'll be back. All right. So this is where we're at. I just let it start bubbling a little bit and that is all because I don't want them to get mushy. Uh, and I, you know, I just don't want them to break down at all. I want to keep them nice and whole and beautiful like this. You can see the difference in the color of the canned blackberries and the fresh blackberries right the fresh blackberries are a lot blacker and i did actually add uh just a touch of cinnamon and sugar into this as well because i did taste the gel uh and it's really not as sweet as i was expecting so i did put some um just some cinnamon and sugar in here as well so that's it so now the next step is going to be to uh fill and prepare and bake this thing i'm doing here i'm not making my own pie crust today obviously you could i do not have time for this um so i am just using this uh, the ready pie crust from aldi the top and the bottom um, and then i have my nine inch um ceramic pie dish this is what i always use i like it so i'm just going to go ahead and put the bottom crust down um, and then we're going to fill and then we're going to cover. So I'll be right back. All right. So I just went ahead and put the bottom pie crust down. You do have to manipulate it a little bit and mold it a little bit. Um, if you want to pull it up high enough so that it comes up to the top so that you can meet your two crusts. And you want to try to patch up any holes and things like that. But I am then going to, um, now I'm just going to pour the filling in. Um, and then I'll be back as soon as I pour the filling in and then I'll put the top cuts on like pure beautiful guys <laughs> so remember this is two cans of the Musselmans and three six ounce packages of blackberries so that is what would fill this to the top and remember when you bake you're gonna have shrinkage so you're gonna lose volume and your top crust will you know sink in a little bit um, but this is, this is beautiful. Uh, you know, so when I had opened the cans, I said, oh, turns out I didn't even have to put in the fresh blackberries, but you know what? You want the volume anyway. So now that I'm looking at it, I did need it. <laughs> so, and it's funny because, uh, on the Musselman's can, it says, uh, fill your pie crust with one or two cans. Get out of here. You can't make a pie with one can of Musselman's. So here I got the two cans and three six ounce containers of uh, blackberries in a nine inch uh, deep dish pie shell. So now I'm going to cover it and I'll be right back. Final steps. So over here I have an egg wash. 
You just beat one egg very, very well with just a few drops of water. The water will change um, the color of what your pie crust turns out to be. Uh, I'm not that picky, so I don't measure. And then you just take your brush and you do a light egg wash around the crust. Oh, that amazing. <laughs> That's my son. Okay. May stay here. Yep, you can. Wash your make. All right, sounds good. You stay right there and you Easter. wash. Your... Oh, yep, you making it for Easter. And let's church. Yep, we're going to church. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's all you need. And you can see that I, you know, joined the two crusts, the top and bottom crusts together. Then I'm going to take uh, mixed cinnamon and sugar. I actually get that. I always make sure to get that from Dollar Tree around the holidays. So I'm just sprinkling that all around to make it nice. And then I'm going to vent vent my crust all right and that is it the thing that i wanted to show you uh before i put this in the oven because the next time i will be showing this to you is when it's finished um but i have i always use a um pie shield pie crust shield so i know that the instructions on the pie crust shield say bake the whole time with it on but i don't um I wait until it just starts getting a little golden around the edges and then I put it on. Um, so that's how I'll be doing it. Especially with these pre-made, pre-rolled out crusts, they are very thin around the edges. So it will burn before the rest of your pie is done. So you have to be very careful. And I find that these uh, pie shields are very useful for that. So, all right. So. I'm leaving and the next time I see you this pie will be coming out of the oven so I just wanted to show everybody to give you the full effect so I don't rip you off of anything um, the darkness around this crust right now this is around around the time that I put the, uh, the edge protector on so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now um, and that's it and it's still not done I don't like you know it's it needs a little longer but I, I want to make sure this doesn't get too too much darker than that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the edge, edge protector on now for the duration of the cooking. Right, guys, I'm back with the final footage. This is the completed pie. Um, when I put the silicone edge protector on, I actually stabbed it by accident and broke the crust that was like, darn it. And then, yeah, I'm making a mess over here. It leaked out all into my oven. Thank goodness I have silicone oven liners. Um, but I guess that's a good sign. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it means it's very full and very juicy. So that's that. Um, but there it is. There's the beautiful completed project. This is my Easter blackberry pie for tomorrow. Um, Greek Easter, April 28th, Sunday. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will be uh, decorating my triple chocolate cake as well. Uh, right after this. So stay tuned for that. I know most of your Easter's have already passed, but maybe it'll just give you an idea for next Easter. So again, till we meet again, stay blessed, my friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, and comment down below. Bye-bye.